Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with 1-2-1-B which is a Chinese tier 10 medium tank, in fact one of my favorite tanks in the game, uh, believe me or not. Uh, it happened to be that last video was back in 2021. Uh, so I think we need to refresh it. Uh, also, in the same time, fellas, keep this in mind. You can be part of the index page as well by logging in via our gaming API, depending on the server. And you can vote for a tanks with which you have more than 50 games. Uh, okay, let's try to make this beautiful, magnificent mother trucker work. Now, the information about the, about the tank. The tank has... Um, overall, the tank is good, in my opinion. Uh, it's rated good in the index page, and I truly stand by what I say, but it isn't ideal. What is bad about the tank? Um, in the nutshell, the tank is burning frontally, so you kind of need to have experimental hardening with it. And plus, on top of that, minus 5 degrees of the gun depression is kind of annoying of the vehicle. Unfortunate, but it is the case. Other than that, the tank is hitting very, very hard for what this alpha damage is... Um, made of doing right 440 for a medium tank is amazing dpm is beautiful um obviously the gun handling is actually okay believe me or not um uh, in other words this tank has quite a lot of things to offer and quite a lot of things to do as you can see the cupola snipe to the cobra pff, easy peasy lemon squeezy meanwhile cobra got angry and he's just simply pushing in front uh one more thing the Penetration with the gold rounds, it is insane, fellas. Penetration with the gold rounds is 340, which is uh, pretty much Soviet um, heavy tank level, okay? This is very, very good, so you are shredding through the tanks without bigger problems whatsoever, which is, once again, uh, definitely a thing to highlight about this tank, right? Uh, you can go with it even in the heavy line and do the smart trades. Um, heavy tank is taking a shot, you are peeking sideways, you are punishing enemy for their stupidity and for their mistake. Which is very, very nice and very much appreciated, at least in my humble opinion. And overall, where the tank goes, the tank isn't bad tank in the world of tanks, truly. Uh, for the equipment setup, I made a decision to play with this vehicle with a... Oh, hi. How are you doing? You really want to trade like this? Interesting. We are going to win the trades. Uh, for equipment setup, I made a decision to use improved aiming unit, even though the dispersion of the tank is quite uh, big. But I feel like I am having significantly better time playing the game this way, right? Maybe it's only me. Maybe I am being special or maybe I am being uh, stupid. But I honestly... I was thinking this bot chat is an enemy, okay? I thought this bot chat is going full trollolo mode in order to slap the living crap out of us. But apparently, uh, this gentleman was a baboon and he, he just wanted to dance. I mean, I am... Um, how you can understand this, fellas? How you can understand this? I slapped him once. I'm so sorry for that. It is definitely not intentional. <coughs> but sometimes it happens. And there is nothing what I can change about this. Anyways. Focusing on the game. T30 is sitting in the sh butthole. Um, he should not enjoy the position he is sitting in. And we are feeling completely fine here. So all I am doing. I am waiting until this guy will peek. And until this guy will try to get involved. If he is going to do that. Um, we are going to have the battle of the day. And we are going to slap him, right? Simple as this. Nothing too crazy, nothing unusual. I do not really think, fellas, that we could make pressure towards the middle. I really want to pull, uh, say this out of the way. Uh, and just to highlight this, it's just not really um, worth to go super aggressively this way. They still have the light tank somewhere in the middle. And that light tank is annoying to the maximum. In fact, this light tank is annoying SF. So, us being super aggressive here, it is not going to be enjoyable and this is not going to be fun. Or maybe it will be fun. Look at this. Our Udes is considering his life choices and our Udes is playing towards the middle himself. Interesting. How about 
a my x30 pushing through the middle and we have high explosive loaded oh yop that are 500 in the face and a bit of assisting damage as well okay not bad not bad fellas not bad meanwhile t30 is thinking that he can do whatever he wants with his uh, um with his tank and oh boy oh boy soon we are going to prove him wrong and soon he will figure this out that he cannot uh, he cannot be that aggressive as he initially thought he can Progetto is fi <laughs> Holy bananas, fellas. This game is something else. I mean, this game, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is just straight up something else. Let's try to eliminate Progetto and let's go for that light tank. Can we do that? Come on, Mr. Progetto. Come on. Make a mistake. Mm, he will turn. Will he turn? He's going straight for us. I do not know what can I say about this game, fellas. Uh, this is this is something. Uh, this is whenever all stars are aligned and whenever um, and whenever enemies are playing um, like a tourists. And believe me, I do appreciate the enemy tourists. Give me all of them. I will say thank you and I'm going to be flabbergasted. I will be super duper hyper turbo excited and I will say thank you for that. So game, thank you very much for treating me this way. Thank you. Unfortunately, Udes reacted a bit quicker than I did, which is fair enough, and this is uh, very, very well deserved. Meanwhile, I made a mistake, but I figured out where the T30 is sitting anyways, although I'm losing my hit points um, literally for free here. Arta slapped me and I'm down to one shotable. That's okay. Mistakes were made um, and that is okay. Not much what I can change about this night. Meanwhile, this gentleman just fired. That being said, we will try to punish him for his stupidity. Beautiful. And pay attention to the gun handling of this thing. The gun handling is actually real nice and uh, the gun handling is doing pretty awesome things to be completely honest with you. Meanwhile, I can see this IS-7 sitting here. I am very, very well aware of that. He is sitting pretty, pretty much hold down. Can we do something about this? Uh, to be completely honest with you, I do not really think we can. Although we can try to check it out. Nah, this is this is proper hold down. Meanwhile, Vaza is going straight to the garage. Good, good, good. And now IS-7 turn. Um, can I do something for this IS-7? Honestly, looking into all of this, um, if I'm lucky, I will penetrate this. But this is this is pure luck, you know. This is a pure luck. IS-7 just fired. I should be able to cross like this without getting slaughtered by him. Although Arta is about to reload and if Arta will reload this is going to be the whole different uh, uh, difficulty level if you know what I mean. Because dodging Arta, good luck with that. Meanwhile, Rhino playing super hold down here which is very 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 strong play by him. But we are okay. All we need to do, we need to pay attention to what he is thinking and what he is doing. He can look directly at me and I couldn't care for shit to be fair with you. And we are okay. How about if we would go and eliminate this guy from the game? How about that? I mean, I do not even know what this rhino is thinking. Actually, I know what this rhino is thinking. He's thinking that he will mess me up like there is no tomorrow. That's okay. That is a good game of World of Tanks. Beautiful. Let's see the score. Okay, fellas. Excellent. 5.3 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage. I'm super happy with this game. Yip, yip, hooray. Um, we are second by experience, we are first by the damage, and overall game was fine, although I throw uh, all my hit points, I threw all my hit points in the end of the game, and you know what, I don't really care, to be fair with you. Um, 11,000 profits, that's okay. Hip, hip, hooray. Come on, one to one, show me what you can do. Let's go, round number two. Okay, fellas, round number two, highway standard battle, I have, uh, I have my, um, Gameplay over there, usually it's probably 80% of success what we are doing and 20% of complete failure. Uh, but I'm a big boy and I'm going to go for it anyways. I'm going to take this position here. The main reason why am I going to take this position? Because I think this is absolutely... First of all, it is a risk it for the biscuit situation and it is a good play in my opinion. Uh, and uh, second of all, I am hoping to... 
I am just simply hoping to spot a lot because looking into this setup there is pretty much it's heavy tank setup right and look how many sniper schnitzels do we have so this is this is going to be very very nice this is going to be very nice at least um, that's how it looks like for now um we are minus 2.7 thousand hit points it happens for the best of us minus 3 thousand hit points nothing what we can change there nothing what we can do meanwhile can we spot someone over there? T-57, good. I slapped this T-57. This is exactly what I've been looking for. And we have a gentleman who is going for me sideways. Now, all our sniper schnitzels, they need to realize that um, I need some help. Okay? 80% success ratio, fellas. 80% success ratio. Come on. Let's not go into that 20% category. Let's not go to that 20% category. Look at this. Sniper schnitzels. Help! Good. Good, 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 good. This is exactly what we want to see. By the way, did he fire it? I think he did. Cheers, mate. Unfortunately, bad aim from my side. I needed to go for lower, lower plate or I needed to shoot the hit. For the next shot, I will shoot the hit and we are going to be completely fine, right? A bit of assisting damage left, right and center. This is very much appreciated and this is exactly what we want to see. And once again, this position is to annoy enemies to the maximum, right? This is what this position is created for. Nothing else. Just to annoy enemies, just to get assisting damage, just to make them... Um, to go up front, right? That's what this position is made for. I am very, very well aware of that that our base isn't defended. I know. I am aware of that that enemy CS is already flanking our team. I am aware of that. But either way, we are sitting all right. Ooh, Centurion. Luckily, he doesn't pay too much attention. Because if he would pay attention, I would get farmed already. Maybe it's about the time to escape from all of this, because this is what I'm thinking. Okay, time to bail. This is the situation whenever whenever everything goes to the, to the different side. I am willing to pay the tax for escaping. To, so to take 500 in the ass, that is okay. 700 in the ass is not what I want to see. But, ah, okay, that was a bad uh, uh, escape from my side. It's okay, so I got taxed a bit more. Um, but I think this is the time to escape from this position. Um, I think this is the time. We are still going to be okay. We are still going to survive. We are still going to be annoying to the maximum for the enemies. But... The main reason why as I escaped from all of this is because I saw that our sniper schnitzels, the guys who supposed to snipe from the back, right? I saw that they are extremely busy at the moment, right? I saw that they are going here and trying to farm enemy forces, which is not a bad play by any shape or any form. I just, I just noticed that they are not supporting us, and that is okay. Now, we are changing the roles, and... Going straight to the garage. I saw that art coming. Nothing what I can change about this. I, I should have, I should not take that shot from the E4 and I would have been okay. But you know what? It is how it is. I'm accepting this. 20% um, 20, 20 failure rating from this position. And uh, probably... Not probably. I'm just into the 20%. Nothing what I can do about that. Better luck next time. Mistakes were made. I tried to escape. Unfortunate, but not much what I can change about this. Probably that was a mistake. Or maybe or maybe I just needed to take the different path. Either way, it's okay. 1.7 thousand damage, 2.1 thousand assisting damage. This is all we are going to get. We are second by experience. We are sixth by the damage. Better luck next time. Let's go. Last game. Let's try to do our best. And 5,000 is what I want to see. Okay. Last but not least, Studzanke standard battle. Let's try to make it work. Shall we? Uh, I do not think I have any business to do in the city. I don't really want to play in the alpha line. I think this is just simply no bueno. So, the best decision, I think what we actually could do here is just to go and play uh, maybe even more aggressively over there. There is a very nice bush from where we can, from where we can spot and from where we can simply punish enemies for their mistakes. How about that, fellas? How about that? We would get a bit of assisting damage. 
do I can I escape? I could escape. I mean, not quite. If I'm here, I'm committing. You know what? Let's do this. I am ready to commit. You know, this is this is the situation whenever you are committing to the position and whenever you are saying Rrr. This is how the things are looking like here. I'm okay. I'm going to be fine. Now, what is our goal and what is our mission? 340 hits should shred this E50M like nothing. This E50M is like a meatball against our uh, uh, heat ammunition. There is no art to dig me out of position, so I am feeling real good. And all I need to do, I need to hit my shots. And I have no doubts we will, fellas. I have no doubts we will. I am pretending that I'm going to shoot the guys here, but in reality, obviously, I'm not going to do that. And the gun is saying, you know what, you are, I will make you to regret your life choices. This is what the gun is saying at the moment. That's okay. E50, how are you doing? Doing fine. Good. Minus 400. Good, 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 good. This is where the fun will begin for us, fellas. This is where the fun will begin. We can shred this E50M without bigger problems whatsoever. We have plenty of the guys who can support us in this position. Um, all we need to do, we need to get a bit of the support. Because if there is not going to be any support whatsoever, we are going straight to the garage. Which is not uh, um, too much appreciated at this situation, right? Okay, good, good, good. How about this gentleman? He isn't paying too much attention, but he snapshot at me in the face. That's okay. And I think he is currently on the reload. I'm pretty sure about this. So all we need to do, we need to um, stick another shell into his face. Beautiful. So far, fellas, so good. I cannot say the situation is the worst situation which I had in a very long time. That is okay. We are already sitting on 2.7 thousand damage. And this is a pure farming. By the way, this guy penetrated me into the turret so uh that pretty much means uh he doesn't need to aim right i'm a medium tank after all i'm not an is7 and um i can't change anything about this meanwhile another uh, everyone is making pressure right there okay then uh can i do something about this absolutely not i just got over pushed by the enemies what a session this is what a session okay listen uh i really want to say everything straight in the face some sessions are just disgusting okay and this session is disgusting the first game was very very good the second game was bad the third game is i mean 3.6 thousand damage is not good uh some sessions are not equal for a sessions sometimes i will play for five to six thousand without effort and sometimes i need to struggle to get the 3000 and this is just simply not my day fellas you know it is just simply bad day in the office i'm accepting this better luck next time and you know uh some people are saying that skill it's nice to see you having awful games as well so here you go it's not awful but it is far away from being ideal to my level um Let's see the score and let's see the average performance. I'm a bit disappointed, fellas, but it is how it is. Accept it. And you know what is the worst part of all of this? It usually happens with the tanks which I love. If the tank is pile of shit, I will play good. If the tank is good, I will play like this. Eh, what can you do? Anyways, let's see the score. And we are back, fellas. 3.6 thousand damage defeat. We are second by the damage. We are fourth by experience. Uh, we lost 31,000 credits. Let it be. Let it be. Today is the session like this. 3.5 thousand damage, 900 assisting damage, 33% win ratio. You know what? I usually do not do this, but uh, whenever the session is to that extent, I really want to show you how bad of the session uh, it was, okay? Uh, sometimes you just cannot get a good games. Sometimes you can't get a good games. And this is the situation. I played with one to one for, I do not know, three hours. I played with one to one for a three hours or something like this night, and this is the best what we could craft. Um, sometimes it's not meant to be, and some mistakes we are from my side, and some games are we are just simply disgusting when you just simply cannot do anything. So just to just to show you, fellas, you are not alone. Whenever the session is going badly and whenever things are just going to the wrong side, if you would pay attention at this, um, defeat, defeat, victory, defeat. Defeat, 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 victory, defeat, defeat, uh, this is defeat, uh, or maybe that was victory, doesn't really matter. Anyways, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say that some days are not meant to be. Um, some, some games we are very, very good, some games we are okay, and sometimes it's just simply not meant to be, fellas. Sometimes it's not your day, so, you know, uh, 
sometimes it's just not meant to be. Anyways, love you all. Thank you very much for watching and see you tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow the day is going to be significantly better. Skill is out for today. Peace.